So guys, this subscriber Sunday is for Jesse. Jesse wanted me to do a on-course comparison Pro V1 versus the Wilson Triad. This is going to be completely unscientific, but it'll be fun. I'll get to hit some shots, and you guys get to watch a little golf. I'll start right where these balls landed here. 131, down breeze a little bit. I'll hit a 9-iron. Of course, the same club with both balls. And we'll just go to 10, see who wins. Completely unscientific, but fun nonetheless. I guess one interesting thing is, if I do pick the wrong club, I just have to swing it twice. It's the only thing that's fair. Pro V1 there. We hit that one a little bit heavy, so Wilson Triad has a good opportunity here. A lot better swing. 1 for the Wilson Triad. All right guys, so we definitely have 1 for the Wilson Triad. Here's the Pro V1. Hit this a little bit heavy. Well, I guess more than a little bit heavy. It's 15 yards short of the hole. Wilson Triad flew stopped here maybe a foot from the ball mark and it is about 12 feet from the hole. So 1-0 Wilson Triad. Okay. So we have a little longer shot here. This time we'll make sure to hit the we'll hit the Wilson first so we're not in any kind of groove. 193. Uphill. Wind's definitely hurt. We gotta hit a three wood here. It's on a good line. Looks look like it flew all the way to the green. Not sure if it's long or not, but that doesn't matter because we still have to hit the same club anyway. Not quite as good. I cut that one a little bit, that off the toe. So the only way the Tylus wins this one is if that Wilson staff is long. I said Wilson staff again, Wilson Triad. So guys, I misspoke earlier. This is the Tylus, so the Wilson Triad wins another one. I misspoke earlier. We're not gonna go to 10, we're gonna go 10 shots. I think it did land short. I am telling you guys, I feel winter is coming. <laughs> Look like fall just got here, but it is cold. It's it's like 50, 55 degrees, but the wind is just howling. We'll start out with the Pro V here. This will be pretty easy. We're going to go, must be in the fairway. They both missed the fairway. It's longest drive. If they both hit the fairway, it's longest drive. One hits the fairway and the other one doesn't. There's the winner. That I think the wind's blowing that way too, so that's a little bit left of the fairway. All the try has to do is hit it in the fairway. That's further left. They're both about 10 yards left of the fairway. Let's see which one's longer. Both about 10 yards left of the fairway. So green is there. So this is the Pro V1. The Wilson Triad is about four yards behind it. So we got one more for the Pro V1. Take that back. We got one for the Pro V1, two for the Wilson Triad. And how about we just take a shot from right here? Okay, so we have a red pin here and it's gonna be kind of tough to stop this ball. I think 55 yards with a 58 degree wedge. So just to make it fair that the lies are similar, I'm rolling the ball so I can get good lies with each one so we don't rely on a bad bounce. 55 yards. You know what? Might be better to just hit a half 54 degree. As long as I don't hit that cart sign, I should be good. little bit unfair because I was able to see how that ball landed. That was with the triad. So I know it's a little bit less than a half. But that ball hit firmer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think the triad got it anyway. Bad bounce. The Pro V1 was about 10 feet further. It actually landed shorter, but it must have hit on a down slope. Do a putt here. Why not? We're having fun. So if the putt goes in, counts. Otherwise, we're going closer to the hole. Three to one for the triad right now. So we're going to hit the Pro V1 first this time.
that is about seven inches from the hole. Now the triant. That is about 10 inches from the hole. Both short, not great putts, but now the Pro V1 is down three to two. Okay, guys, so here we are. We got a left to right wind, 132 yards uphill. Pretty cold now. I'm gonna go eight iron. Hell, guys. One of those situations. I probably missed club because that ball landed short. I hit it pretty good. That ball landed short and rolled back off the front of the green. We're getting to that 50 degree weather with the wind. Got to take extra club and I didn't, but we have to hit eight iron again. Well, I hit that one better, a lot better. It's rolling off the front so guys these balls are right here it's almost a dead heat and just to tell you how bad i misclubbed we've got this is the ball mark here nine yards so we carried that 123 yards so nine yards so that's that's a full club short i don't know which one of these are closer though if i shoot that it says 11 if I shoot this, it says 11. We've got a tie. Let's do a putt off. Whichever one's closer gets the point. This is the Pro V1. That's that nice little hook stroke that I do from time to time. Wilson Triad. And the opposite. Triad's a little closer. Let's do another little pitch shot here. We'll hit the Wilson first this time. Looks like about six feet long. Now we'll hit the Pro V1. Caught the slope, look at that ball. It didn't stop. Pro V would have got this one if it wasn't for this slope here. It got up here about five feet from the hole and started trickling down. Wilson is only four feet or so behind the hole. All right here, so we'll do another drive, the same as the drive we did on the hole before. This is the Wilson. One hits the ferry, the other one does it. It wins. If not, we go for longest. Wind's blowing right to left, so we're going to play it this time. Over towards the right side of the green. In the middle there. Pro V1, same thing, right side of the green. I think I hit that one quite as good. I want to need a little roll. I don't know if the ground is getting firm or not, but we got so much rain. The Pro V1, it didn't feel like I hit it as well, but you know how fairways are. It could be a slope on this side of the fairway. This is the Pro V1. You can see the corner of the green here. It was 259 to the middle of this green. This is the Wilson Triad back here, where I thought the Triad was going to run away with this thing. Again, guys, I do realize this is just fun, fun comparison. But it's nice to be out on the course nonetheless, even though it's 55 degrees and the wind is, is howling pretty good. It was blowing right to left there. You know, I hit both of those drives a little further than I've been hitting them. I remember something that I was doing when I was doing the super speed training. And I started hitting the ball a little bit longer again. If you guys want to know about that, let me know. So guys, this is a fitting spot to finish this contest. The famous hole, my good friend, Aqua Woman, dove in the pond. For the commercial she's moving out of town i'm gonna miss her but i may just go south and visit play a little golf with her so we've got 183 to a blue pin the wind right to left i don't think there's any other club to hit 
then the four hybrid. Let's not tee it up. We're going to play it off the ground. So we'll start with the Wilson Triad. Oh boy. That was a block. I took dead aim at the pin and it didn't pay off there. Sometimes we should probably aim at the middle of the green more often than not. Okay, let's see if the Pro V1 can take advantage. Take the same swing right at the pin. Oh, guys, that was a little left, but it felt... Wow. I don't know if that's long or not. Let's go see. This is 12 yards. This is the Pro V1. The Wilson Triad is back here. We hit it high, right, and short. That was 12. This could very well be 12 also. It's close. 15. Without a debate, the Pro V1 wins this hole. This shot. And we end it 5-5. So guys, this will be a two for one subscriber Sunday because another subscriber asked about the durability of the ball. How did it look? I told him there wasn't a mark on the ball. This isn't the end all be all test. I'm gonna hit 10 bunker shots with this same Wilson triad. I almost said staff again. We'll just see how it looks afterwards. Back and forth, back and forth. Probably aren't going to be the best bunker shots. <laughs> I'm sure by number four or five, I'll be a little tired and just up here swinging. And we're fighting daylight. It's two, I'm already winded. Speaking of winded, got a video coming up that is kind of related to that. I'll wait till I'm done to rake the bunker. It's getting progressively worse. This is about 15 feet. It's five. I'm probably progressively moving slower also. It's the same distance. Watch, I count them when I'm editing and I missed one. All right, now we're at the 20 feet. I will be happy when I'm done with this. Oh, <laughs> that's eight, that's still 20 feet. Pots and shots, we say, oh, that's 20 feet, oh, that's 15 feet. We don't often say, oh, we got 23 feet. Okay, here's number nine. There we go. Had it back up to 10 feet or so. If I'd have been running like this earlier, I wouldn't have had to worry about being cold. Next time I'll do the jogging first. Okay, last shot. If we can make it a good one. Uh oh, we didn't. <laughs> We failed, guys. A little closer than that. It is makeable. All right, guys. So we're gonna get this dirty ball clean. And we will see what it looks like. Not the end all be all test, but a test if you're hitting bunker shots. So guys, this ball does not have a mark on it. I'm going to look and see if I can find one. To the right of the one is the only thing that even resembles a mark. There is no mark on this golf ball. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's Subscriber Sunday. Subscriber Sunday 
is your ideas. It's one way for me to thank you guys for supporting the channel and giving you some content that you request. So with that being said, any ideas that you have for Subscriber Sunday, leave them down in the comment section. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now, hooks 